how to buy an agency. Th this is what we're gonna go through right now. You might think it's on foreclosure. No, it is in Dynasty 8. And I'm also gonna talk to you what you need in this agency. You go to the agency section here to just see which one you want. As you guys can see, these are the cheaper ones on the left side of the map here. I would recommend getting the one on the top right as it is closer to the other businesses, closer to the highway. It also has a helicopter landing platform on the top. I haven't checked out the other ones if they have it, but you, if you have a helicopter, you can land it on the roof of this one. And yeah, but you guys choose whatever location you prefer. I would say go for this one as it is the best location, close to the highway, close to the casino, close to the other businesses at La Mesa. It's a good location, I would say. Let's go to renovate it so we can just can see what you can buy. You can buy a wallpaper. Oh, never mind. Let's do another one since I have already bought like everything for this one. So we go here and let's just choose this one. The cheapest one. Uh, never mind. This is the cheapest one. Let's choose this one just to see what you guys are running up to. You can choose some art customization options. I wouldn't say this is necessary. You, you will do. See what you can buy for it. For the wallpaper, you know, completely optional. You, you can only choose this if you need to. Highlights. This is going to be changing the walls. Color light, lightning, I guess. It's gonna be different colors on the walls. The armory, this is uh, can be useful. I will go over uh, how useful it is uh, just a second. Accommodation, this is only necessary if you want to spawn in the arcade, in the agency, which I definitely would recommend you if you're doing the heist and that stuff. It's only 275k, so I would say buy this if you want a new spawn location inside of the agency. Whenever you find a new session, you can spawn in this location, which can be useful for, I guess, uh, getting free snacks and body armor, which I will be coming back to later. And the vehicle workshop is if you want to customize and weaponize the new vehicles. You cannot weaponize new vehicles in like the uh, arena workshop or the uh, Avenger anymore. So you will need this workshop if you want to customize and weaponize the new vehicles. You can customize new vehicles like add uh, spoilers, that sort of stuff to the vehicles in the uh, other workshops, but you can only add weapons to them in this workshop. Okay, and um, so here is the agency uh, weapon smith, I guess you can call him. And the good thing about this guy is he actually provides you with free body armor. Free body armor, guys. And you can I also buy the new weapons here from here. They say it's on a discount, but I highly doubt that. It said like 13% discount, but it was still like around 400k, which I would guess wouldn't really matter. But I guess buy this guy before you buy the new weapons if you can. Uh, yeah. So we get a small extra discount, I guess. You have the heavy rifle here, and you will also have the, the stunt pistol gun here, which is completely useless. And you will also have the new compact EMP launcher, which I also feel is pretty useless. I guess the new rifle is kind of good, but I wouldn't say it's that good. Uh, you don't have to buy this if you if you are if you're poor, I guess. Save save your money if you have a better weapon. But yeah, this guy provides so you with free bo with free body armor here. You can see mm -hmm. super heavy body armor. No, sorry, it's not free. It's around 435 for each super heavy one, but it's it's here in one location, so you won't have to go. Oh, why did I open this Xbox store? But you won't have to sort of go to the ammunition anymore. The ammunition is sort of useless since you can buy ammo and uh, and weapons from this guy in the agency. So that's why you you would want this guy if you want uh, to buy yeah, body armor without going to the ammunition. And if you go to this location here, you can also grab some snacks. If you're wondering where this is, this is in the top floor. Here is the weaponsmith, and that's the stairs. When you come up, once you come up the stairs, this is where it's gonna be. Free snacks. Uh, you can press the uh, take all button as well, which is very useful. So whenever you're using your snacks, just go up to this top floor and grab some snacks. Also, on the second floor here is where Franklin is and Chop is gonna be usually. Chop can be in your bed and the top floor. We respond in if, you, if it's not in your... Done with Franklin. Here is your uh, office for each, uh, I guess, one of the first missions you do. You will get one of these. I've done the first the first two missions. Once I did the third, I will get the last one here. Then it's the finale after that. I just want to give you guys a quick tour of the uh, location here. This is Franklin's office. You guys can see, yeah. So he has actually up, shot the dog down here. You guys want to pet him to get an award, an award for it. I have already petted him. But if you want to, you can pet him and you will get an, a word for it. And you can also see here Franklin's new family here, Tanisha. I guess they ended up together. I feel like this is Tanisha. Are, do you guys agree or are you dis disagreeing with that? You can also see his highest priced possession, the Premium Deluxe Motorsport Employee of the Month. You guys can see this is his most prized possession. He didn't, he doesn't really care about this. <laughs> Uh, his, this is his office, as you can see, he's highly busy working, he's got this little pipe here, and just relaxing in his chair. Yeah, so as you can see, he's highly busy here, he's got his, uh, his stuff here, 
his collectibles. And yeah, once you go down to the bottom floor here, you can actually exit. Whenever you start a mission, you can go down to this guy and you can exit with a vehicle. Okay. So you just press the right D-pad, I guess. And you can exit your personal vehicle or via, via helicopter. So personal vehicles, it's going to be whatever you have stored in the garage. So I guess I haven't tried it with your presser, but maybe you can store your presser down in the basement and you can just exit with it. If not, just choose another fast vehicle you want to exit with. Sadly, for the helicopter options, it's only like passive vehicles. It's no like Sparrow or something like that. I would have really loved it if I could exit with a Sparrow or a Buzzard, but sadly, that is not an option here. Uh, I would have loved it. If I would have loved it if they could add that. It would have made some of the preps way easier and faster to do. But of course, I get how Rockstar is doing this. This woman is completely useless. You know why? Jokes on me, I guess. And yeah, once yeah, this is the artwork I'll be here. twerking. This is the F. Clinton and partner sign. I guess some of the artwork. This is the exit if you just want to go down to your garage or something. Go to the elevator, exit the roof, vehicle, and garage. There's also going to be some of Franklin's uh, vehicles in the garage. I can show you which one they are. Let's just exit. Wait, what? Garage. There we go. By the way, if you are enjoying this video and you would like to see more from me, hit the subscribe button, like the video to so it spreads to more people. And consider sharing this with your GTA Online fans, please. Okay, so as you can see, we're on the negative want floor. These are Franklin's vehicles. This is my car, never mind. Of course, the Enos, the car you will be using in the missions if you don't have a custom car. And yeah, this is also Franklin's car, I guess you can't access that one. Also, if you guys are wondering like which cars that are customizable in this shop here, you guys can go to this computer, press the right D-pad, and you guys can see this the Buffalo STX. You can purchase from Southern Andreas Motor Super Autos. Ch the Champion from Legendary, and the, Di the DT, I don't know, and the Jubilee. The these four cars are cars that can be added with special modifications by Imani. And yeah, also, if you guys are wondering about the safe, I can explain that to you. Because as far as I've understood it, it is that the more missions you do, f or contracts you do, like for Franklin, the boring missions, I would say, the, the missions that pays around 40k with different difficulties. As far as I've understood it, the more missions you do of those, or it might be of the main mission, the storyline, the more passive payout you're going to get. I did one mission and I got paid 250k, oh, sorry, $250 per day. So maybe it is something like the more missions you do of that, it will increase. Maybe with the for every second or third missions, you will so get some more passive income. It's quite, it's quite low, I would say, with only 250. But let's say we do um, some more missions and it increases like linearly, then you might get like yeah, eventually you kind of get 10k a day or something like that, which is I guess not very bad still, but it might be better for some passive income. However, you still need to go to that safe there beneath that dog to like collect it. And yeah, this is the PC, I guess. I only have like one contract remaining here, then I'm gonna do it. But you guys can see this security contracts. They are like paying very bad. You guys can see their different level of specialists, professional specialist plus I've seen. Uh, so I guess specialist plus is the highest I've seen so far. If you guys have seen any higher or any lower than professional or specialists or specialist plus, then please tell me. And uh, let's see that. You guys can see it. I've eliminated one gang. Maybe it's for every gang you eliminate? I have no idea how the passive income really is uh, going to be hand handled. You guys tell me in the comments if you have an idea. I will like, make a separate video of that if it is very interesting. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Take care.